Do you need to know what is going to happen to your muscles in a single exercise uh, session? Well, you're in the right place. So that is what the next BTEC topic is all about. So keep watching, guys. Let's have a look for those revision exercises that we can use for your BTEC exam coming up really, really soon. So how does your body react to exercise when we are focusing purely on the muscular system? So to start off with, we get an increased blood supply. So your um, veins and arteries will actually open up, so what we call vasodilate, and they're gonna allow more blood to enter the muscle. Well, the good thing about that is that we therefore get an increased blood supply, so we must be getting more oxygen in there and the ability to remove any waste products. Fantastic, that is the first thing that's gonna happen. Now, because of all this, this blood moving around and all that friction of the blood moving really, really, really quickly, we're also gonna get an increased muscle temperature. Now, if muscles are increasing in temperature, that's great, and it also means that they get a bit more stretchy and flexible. And that term is called increased muscle pliability. So pliability is basically they get a bit stretchy. So already there are three different effects of you starting to do an exercise session. So as soon as you start to run, you get increased blood supply, your temperature of your muscles increases, and therefore we get an increased muscle pliability, so they get stretchier. Now, in, in addition to that, there are some further things which happen. So if I'm doing a high intensity exercise, such as sprinting, I'm gonna be working anaerobically, which means that I'm gonna create lactate or lactic acid. Now the issue with that is that that might cause some discomfort and fatigue. So therefore that is also an immediate response of exercise to the muscle system. Now, if I'm gonna be working at that high intensity for a long period of time, my muscles are gonna get slightly damaged. And they're gonna get damaged at what we call a micro level. So they're called micro tears. So if I was doing resistance exercises, such as um, bicep curls as always, um, or any other weight training, or maybe sprints, I'm not gonna cause these slight little tears in the fibers. Now that's not a bad thing, okay? Because when we then later on repair, we might repair stronger. But because of that micro tear caused in a muscle, I'm gonna experience later on something called DOMS. Now DOMS stands for Delayed Onset of Muscle Soreness. So DOMS, Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness. So those four things are really, really important for, um, for making sure maybe we warm up because then we wanna try and make sure that the, the uh, effects of those aren't as, aren't as bad. Now DOMS is typically created where we do lots and lots of eccentric muscle contraction. So we said about that in one of the previous videos where we looked at muscle contraction. So when we are exercising, that eccentric contraction will be happening and the muscle lengthens. There's lots and lots of force going through it. So for instance, if you were sprinting and then suddenly slowing down, and that might cause those micro tears, which in turn causes the DOMS. So they are some short-term effects of exercise on the muscle system. Not bad in just over three minutes, really.